everyone, long time no chit chat. Can somebody please explain to me why I spend so much time like on my hair and makeup getting ready to film a video and I set up the lighting and my camera and all that jazz and then when it comes down to like the final minute when I just need to put on proper like good looking clothes and sit down in front to film, I think to myself, hmm, I have two options. Let's weigh these options. So I can stay in my comfortable PJs and have a great time and film the same exact video but just not look as good or I can put on an itchy top and some bunchy jewelry and not look as good but film the same video. So obviously I decided to show my Tennessee pride today and keep my volunteer t-shirt on and um, wearing sweatpants which you guys know I always wear sweatpants from the waist down because you guys can't see it anyways. And at the end of the day, let's get real, I'm just filming this video and then I'm going to get back in my bed and edit it so I don't know that's why I just I don't know why I felt the need to point out to you guys that I was feeling lazy today but it's kind of okay have you guys seen Pitch Perfect yet if you have you'll be on the same page as me and if you haven't you need to because it's amazing and it's literally one of my favorite videos of all time now but there is a line that's actually in the previews as well so I'm not spoiling anything for you guys if you like haven't seen it or anything but there's a line where Rebel Wilson's character says something along the lines of yeah sometimes I think it'd be a fun idea to try crystal meth but then I think mm, better not and that's kind of how I felt this morning on a much 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 smaller scale obviously I wasn't contemplating something as serious as that I was just contemplating eh, wearing a t-shirt eh, wearing something where I look a little better and obviously t-shirt one so I wanted to do I don't know why I spent so long just explaining to you guys my outfit of choice um Oh, I feel like I'm in a pageant, like Honey Boo Boo or something. This is my outfit of choice. I should like parade around and dance and like have a little synchronized like performance with Teddy to show you guys. That would be actually really fun. Thumbs up this video if you want me to create my own um, version of outfit of choice from toddlers and tiaras where I will just make up some sort of ridiculous routine and wear a tutu and prance around, which probably doesn't sound that fun. So you guys probably aren't you're probably like, why would I want to see that? But I don't know. I think it'd be fun. I'll like make Teddy do a backflip or something. I don't know. Anyways, I wanted to um, announce the winner of the fabulous Michael Kors watch. I did a giveaway. I think it went up about three weeks ago on my channel and I'm going to announce the winner. This is the one that it hasn't even come out of the box yet. It still has all of its like coverings on it, everything like that. I did generate a random drawing and we have a winner. I have some little like organizational things I'm working on around my room. So I thought, I don't know, it'll be fun to kind of like show you guys that and stuff like that. So yeah, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and announce the Michael Kors watch winner to you guys. So once again, this is what was up for grabs it's a beautiful completely like crystal in bossed and not engraved I guess yeah embossed I don't know my adjectives very well but it is absolutely breathtaking I wear mine as I'm not wearing mine I'm like I wear mine every day but I'm totally not wearing it so that's kind of a lie but um it's really beautiful and I get compliments every time I do wear it out and stuff so, so the winner of this beautiful watch goes by the YouTube screen name of Dollface MW so I've already sent you a personal message on YouTube from my Juicy Star 07 account and it has instructions on how you can I guess like get your address to me and things like that and as soon as you send me your shipping information I will get this in the mail to you and you will have your beautiful watch just in time for the holidays I guess so yeah congratulations thank you guys all for supporting me even if you didn't win this giveaway I do do a lot of giveaways on my channel so um yeah just keep entering and your odds will go up with each one I guess I don't know maybe I'm, I'm not good at statistics I don't know is that true or, or do your odds go down each contest. Wow, that would be kind of upsetting. I don't know. I'm not very good at math, so someone else can, I don't know, let us all know in the comments. Would your odds go up or down? I guess it would depend on how many people are entering. I don't know. That's just so confusing. So now, okay, big reason of why I did a couple little things to switch out my room, which I just did a room tour, so I'll link that below if you guys want to see like my entire room and stuff. So most of you guys probably know that Elle and I designed our own collection for Just Fab Shoes. There are 18 shoes that are just absolutely beautiful. They came out on October 16th, I believe. I know that some of the sizes are selling out and stuff, so if you do see a pair you want, I would recommend going ahead and getting it, even if you like put it away for the holidays, because I know that they are selling out on the more popular ones in the common sizes like pretty quickly. Elle and I really wanted to make sure that we kind of got a shoe for everyone, so that's why there are so many in this collection, but I love them. The only thing is I was obviously gifted a pair of each of them which is just incredible to think about I have my entire fall and winter shoes for this entire season already just basically like handed to me which is incredible and thank you so much just fab for doing that but 
when they came I was like I don't have room in my closet for 18 more pairs of shoes like I just I simply don't my closet's already full of I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and I got some shoe racks and I wanted to show you those because I think not only is it like working out really well for my shoes but it also gives my room a little bit of like a boutique -y feel I don't know I think it's really cool so I'll show you guys that right now so this is the shoe rack right here. This is where you walk into my room. So the door actually hits it just a little bit, but I really don't ever need to open my door like that wide anyways. It still opens all the way to back here. So I, I can pretty much fit anything through the door if I need to, but um, worst case, if I needed to move it, it would be handled. So here is this little setup and look at how cute all of these shoes are. Oh my goodness, sometimes I just walk in here and I just look at them and I'll plan my outfit around what shoes I'm wearing. So these boots, these brown boots are actually these boots but these ones are in black so I just have them folded over because I thought even if they like crease or anything like that, they're already scrunchy anyway so I don't think it would matter that much. And then I have these boots which are so cute. They have a little bit of a heel on them. I have these adorable bow ankle booties down here. Look how cute these are. So cute. We have them in blue and in taupe and in black and we have those. And then I think these are actually my favorite. Pair. So not only is this housing all of my extra shoes, but it is also, sorry, I'm going to fix that because it's going to bother me. Okay, not only is this housing all of my Just Fab shoes, and I have them like in one spot where when I want to go like look and find out what I'm going to wear, things like that, they're all right here, but I feel like it gives my room next to my little dress hanger, I don't know, I feel like it just gives it a very boutique-y feel. So I replaced all of my um, white hangers that were on this little rack with wooden ones just again to make it like a little boutique -y thing oh and by the way you guys is this normal look at how many bones teddy has it's just crazy oh speaking of teddy here he is teddy bear hi hello he's like mom i was sleeping what are you doing before i forget i totally wanted to show you guys this in a video so there is a magic word that when i say it teddy goes absolutely crazy and he does it because he knows that when the doorbell rings this is the word i always say and he's learned that when i say this it means that someone's here and he's going to get to see a new friend and he's going to be really excited so it's really funny and even if he doesn't hear the doorbell ring if i just say this word he goes absolutely crazy so i want to show it to you guys and i was just thinking about this um, this could be really awkward in the wrong situation. I don't know. You guys will see what I mean in a second. So here we go. Teddy bear. Hi there. Hi. Oh, is someone there? Coming. Coming. Go on. Coming. Is someone here? And I also wanted to show you guys, I got these little command hooks from Target. They're super inexpensive and they don't ruin your walls. So it doesn't take like any nails or anything. It's just a really strong adhesive that you can remove later. So it's good if you like don't want to ruin your walls or anything like that. But I put that to hang my purse on it, right? Kind of like when you walk in my door so that my purse has a spot now that my dress rack is like set up differently. Cause it used to go on there, but now um, there's not really room. So yeah, looking back on it, this might not have been a very interesting video but I just kind of wanted to update you guys oh and I'm really excited so ever since I moved to LA I've not been back to Tennessee for more than I think the longest stay I did was nine or ten days which is crazy to think about but I'm going back for the entire second half of November I'm going from November 14th to the 30th which is just crazy for me to think about and I literally cannot even explain how excited I am to be back and just I don't know I feel like I'm going on like a two-week coming home spree or something. I don't know. I'm excited to spend time with all of my friends and family because most of the time when I go into town, I only have a couple days. So I'm literally like seeing this friend for lunch, this friend for dinner, this friend going to a movie. Like it's just crazy. So I'm excited that I'm just going to have time really to catch up with everyone and just like hang out and not be rushed because I'll have like 16 days or something, which is 
absolutely insane. So I am so excited to go home and yeah, I don't know. I'm just excited for the holiday. So I'll be filming a lot of videos when I'm home in Tennessee, but leave in the comments below if you guys have like a specific video you want to see. I was thinking about doing like a tour of my hometown and just showing you kind of like the important monumental places to me in my hometown and then maybe doing a couple follow me around vlogs while I'm there, maybe a tour of my bedroom at my parents' house. You guys have never really seen that. So just leave it in the bottom bar below or in the comments. I don't know why I said bottom bar, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so excited to be going home soon. And yeah, I will talk to you guys in my next video.